Drummers Only is the UK's leading drum shop with store locations in Glasgow and Leeds. Be sure to like, subscribe, and let's do this. Hi guys, so Adam from Drummers Only here, and I am here with the legendary Carter <laughs> McLean. How are you, man? It's kind of you. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm glad that uh, first one's out of the way, which is great. It yeah. Was super fun. Yeah. Have you enjoyed the UK drum show this year? Yeah, it's been amazing. Is this your first time in the UK? No, I was actually here in 2018 when it was in Man. I was in Manchester when it was there. Oh, of course. Yeah. And I was yeah. randomly on tour with Charlie Hunter. We were doing a duo tour, right. and we were in town. I think doing something for the BBC radio. It was right. a concert, but it was being broadcast. And somebody's like, oh, you must be here for the drum festival. And I said, what are you talking about? Mm. They're like, oh, the UK drum shows this weekend. I was like, what? So I went over to the festival and like all of my friends were running around the festival. No way. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, so I, like I kind of got a glimpse into the festival briefly, which is really cool. Yeah. So you've just came off stage today. Yeah. How did your performance go? Did you? I, I personally, I thought it was sensational. Thank you. I was gonna say, you tell me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I didn't plan like a soul. Like I just went up and improvised for a minute, mm -hmm. and then I talked. You were using a, little... a bigger kit than you usually would, right? Yeah, it was twice the size. Yeah. <laughs> so normally I just play 12, 14, 20, or like 12, 14, 18. Yeah. And two cymbals, and this was 12, 13, 14, 16, 20, 24. Wow. You were playing the 24 with your heel, is that right? Yeah, trying to. <laughs> uh, that's I think a, you did a pretty good it's job, man. New, it's, pretty good. it's just like a new idea, and I figured, why not try to do it? Yeah. You know, like I could just not do it, but it's more Where's fun. Where's the fun in that? Though? Yeah, I feel like it's nice to see someone on stage that's not just flawlessly playing. Like, I'm not mm -hmm. trying to screw up, but like, it's nice to see that you're human yeah. when you're in the audience. And if you're like trying to figure this instrument out, I'm still trying to figure it out every yeah. day. It's hard. Do you find, when you're teaching younger players, do you find a lot of influence of today's media in their playing? So like, oh, social 100%. media? Oh, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's usually I have to undo all of that brainwashing. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what it seems like. There's just a yeah. lot, of, it's, there's a lot of value placed on loud and fast. Sure. And yeah. it's, been, it's been like that for, I would say, over 10 years now. Oh, big time. And yeah, I'm yeah. waiting for it to people to get sick of it. Yeah. Um, I try to think a bit more of like looking at the instrument like from a little bit more of like a open that's why I tune my drums kind of open yeah I don't it makes me play less notes which is great for me yeah um, and it makes you you have to choose your moments mm. instead of just ripping the entire time yeah and I think for younger players you know they, they view of everything like oh I have to get this many likes or this many views to be credible, you know? Yeah. And that's why I've always been a massive fan of your Instagram account, 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 account personally, because... Either of those works. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> um, because you do, you, I remember when you did the three tempos thing. Like, oh, that was a while ago. Yeah, and like, just, I just, I don't know if it was just me, but I loved it when you played everything really slow because you could hear every nuance of your playing. Yeah, you that's kind of why I did that because in a nutshell, I didn't say that, but... Everybody was faster, 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 faster. Yeah. And I was like, let's, it, the hardest one to do is the really slow version. Yeah. Because then there's all this space that you have to be accountable for. Mm -hmm. Do you ever play that game with the metronome where you set it to like five BPM? Nope. To, no. My time isn't good <laughs> enough for that. It's depressing. I mean, I can, I can hold down time, but I don't work with a metronome that much. I play one every night at Lion King, so that's fine. I, yeah. I mean, I can do it, or if somebody sends me a track, it's fine. Yeah. But I don't we're human beings and our heart is not a perfect metronome. Like there's an ebb and flow to everybody's thing. And I, I try to embrace that for sure. You yeah. know, cause it makes you human, doesn't it? You know? Yeah. Well, otherwise everything's just programmed and that's fine. Just quantize it and you're done. Yeah. But like, I think that's what people are missing these days is like an actual connection to being a human and like playing an instrument, like yeah. actually not just hitting a, a note on a keyboard and it goes, da, 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 you know, it's like, what keyboard's that? I want that one. It's every keyboard. <laughs> like your phone can probably do it. You know yeah, what I mean? Totally. But it's nice to just let everything breathe a little bit more organically. Yeah. So you do the Lion King. So, you know, obviously a lot of, you have to play it note for note, I guess, every night. So yeah. for anyone who isn't familiar with that world, what's it like when you first started that gig compared to now? It was terrifying yeah. for the first like <laughs> six months because there's there's so many uh, booby traps in every song. Mm, like, yeah. oh, you got to turn on the electronic drums in this one beat break, and if you miss it, there's no other place to really get to it, and then your pad's not. Like, there's all these things that your brain is having to process yeah. the whole the whole time. Um, 
Well, <laughs> that's all good. So, Carter, you're here, obviously. You've been here the full weekend. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, it's man. It's been a pleasure. It's great. Nice great to meet you. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Thanks for listening to this episode of Drummers Only Radio. You can find us online at www.drummersonly.co.uk. Drop us a line. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at Drummers Only UK. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast. We're on Apple, Spotify, and YouTube. Any questions, info at drummersonly.co.uk is the email. Or if you need leads, it's leads at drummersonly.co.uk. Thanks again for listening, and we'll see you next time. Drummers Only.